This is the story of a man named Batman. Batman was a video game reviewer. He would spend countless hours playing video games and then go on to make decently decent videos on how he felt about said games, which thousands of people would watch for no apparent reason. But on this fateful day, all of that would change. Batman awoke on the floor of his room, which he thought to himself was rather odd since his bed was only two feet to his right. But choosing to ignore his stupidity, he raised himself from the floor and walked out the door of his room. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think you heard me quite right. I said, Batman walked through the door and left his room. Batman chose to ignore the sexy voice in his head telling him what to do. He then sat down and tried to play video games, but what he stupidly forgot was that there was no power in his house today and that his TV wouldn't work. Oh, so this is how you want to play it, huh? Alright. As Batman delightfully played his video games, a game case flew through his door, hit him in the head, and knocked him unconscious. You son of a bitch. This is the story of a man named Batman. This is the Stanley Parable originally a mod for Half-Life that was made using the Source engine. It has now been upgraded with an amazing HD remake, adding new content and making everything look beautiful. The game revolves around a man named Stanley, who works at a company pressing buttons that a computer monitor tells him to press. But on one fateful day, the unthinkable happens. Stanley stops receiving orders to press buttons, and he quickly realizes that all of the employees in his office have disappeared, and that's when Stanley sets off on his amazing journey to find out what's going on. <laughs> the Stanley Parable is a game about choices. Just imagine a choose your own adventure book, except once you make a choice and you realize that your choice sucks. You can't go back to the previous page that you bookmarked with your finger and choose the different ending. And while you're traversing the office exploring the world, your adventure is narrated by one of the sexiest voices in video game history. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now, if you're looking for any crazy kind of gameplay in your games, this is definitely not the game for you. Because other than clicking a few buttons and opening a few doors, there isn't much in the gameplay department. Kind of like Dear Esther, this game is pretty much just an interactive story, but a great one at that. Instead of going the serious route like Dear Esther did, the Stanley Parable takes every opportunity to be funny or just mess with your brain in any way it can. All of this should really be explored for yourself because telling you any of it would just take away from the excitement and I want your brain to hurt just as much as mine did while playing it. There are so many choices you can make by either following what the narrator says. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. or just ignoring everything he says and doing what you want. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. There are about 18 different endings to the game, depending what you count as an ending. I enjoyed each and every one of these endings, and after every ending I found myself going, I wonder what would happen if I did this differently this time. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I really... And before stupid me spoils any more of the game for you, I'll be heading out. But before I leave, I just have to say that the Stanley Parable is one amazing game and it is worth the money, especially now that the price has dropped a good amount. But now I'm off to find the last secret in the game.
I just have to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and for waiting so long for it to come out. It has been so much fun putting it together and it's been so much trouble with not having internet and moving and everything, but I am so happy with how it's turned out. And speaking of that, I have to give a big thanks to Brutal Moose for voicing the voice in the beginning of this video. I can't think of anyone I would rather have make fun of me than, well, Brutal Moose. So I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to check out some of Brutal Moose's stuff. There's going to be a link on the screen here and there's a link to some of my other stuff if you want to see that too. So have a good day. Bye. <laughs>